Are you always finding yourself saying, I wish I could wear that, but it doesn't suit me? Or are you someone who thinks whatever you wear, nothing seems to look good on you? Don't worry, we've all been there. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why that is and what you can do about it. If you like this video at any point, please feel free to drop it a like. I hope you like the video anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing that's really important and one area where you might be going wrong is are you buying the right type of clothing or the right style of clothing for your body type? Are you on the shorter side, the skinnier side or the larger side, for example? You really do need to take your weight, height and build into account when choosing your clothing. So for example, if you're a shorter guy, then wearing something big and baggy up top might not be the best option for you. Instead, why not try something with more of a crop fit up top and it might complement your frame better. And if you have a larger frame, then avoid wearing anything too skinny on the bottom half of your outfit and wear something wider because it's gonna be more in balance with your frame. And if you're on the skinnier side, then wearing something too tight or too baggy might not be the best option for you. You might be better off wearing something slim fitting or tailored instead. Whatever it is, you've just got to accept that certain styles won't work as well for you as others, but it's the same for everyone. Most of the time, the people that you see who look well put together have just found what works for them and you'll get there eventually, so don't worry. So let's take Timothée Chalamet, for example. He's voted as being one of the best dressed celebrities out there. So if I really liked his style and wanted to dress just like him, then the stuff that he wears and looks good in is probably not gonna look good on me because we've got a different build. And on the flip side, what works well for me might not necessarily work well for him. To be honest, he could probably pull anything off, so it was probably a bad example, but I hope you get what I mean. The next thing that's important, and maybe even more important, is the proportions of your outfit. I think the easiest thing to do here is to think of your outfit being made up of three sections. This is called the rule of thirds. I think the most flattering way for most people to dress, no matter what your build, is to have the top half of your outfit make up one third of your overall fit, and the bottom half of the outfit making up the other two thirds. If this doesn't make sense, don't worry. I'm gonna show you some examples of what I mean and talk you through them now. Okay, so we've got an outfit here from Fear of God. This is a really well-proportioned outfit and you can see from the top part of the outfit, the outfit takes up a third of the overall fit because the tucked in top breaks up the look and the bottom half of the outfit therefore takes up the other two thirds. If you've got an outer piece like the jacket, then it doesn't really matter if it's longer because the outfit is already being broken up by the tucked in top. But if you were to untuck the top, then it would give off a completely different look. So here's another example of a tucked in tee and a crop jacket. So this does the same thing as the last look and it gives off a really well balanced look. Take a look at this next one. This outfit is pretty much split in half. It doesn't look as flattering in my opinion and the outfit lacks shape. In my opinion, it would look better with a shorter sweatshirt and it would make the legs look longer too. And look at the difference when you go back to the top part of the outfit taking up a third of the overall look and the bottom half taking up the other two thirds. The legs look longer and the outfit looks a lot more balanced. Of course, you can flip things the other way around and have the top part of the outfit making up two thirds of the overall look and the bottom part of the fit making up the other third. This look was very popular a few years back with the Fear of God and Yeezy styles, but it's definitely less done these days. I like the way Fear of God have achieved the look here, but it's definitely harder to do. And finally, just to show things in action, here is JB in an outfit that splits right down the middle. It's not a very flattering look on him in my opinion, but when he wears something where he uses the rule of thirds, it just looks a lot better. This is all my opinion, of course. There is no right or wrong way to do things. I just think the rule of thirds gives off a more flattering look. And if you have no idea where to start still, then take someone whose style you really like, who's a similar height to you and a similar build to you, and see what they're doing with their outfits. The next reason why your clothing might not look good on you is because you're wearing the wrong colored clothing for your skin tone. Now, I've talked about this on the channel already, so I won't go into detail here, but to check your skin tone, look at the veins in your wrist. If your veins are blue, then you've probably got a cool skin tone. If your veins are more green, then you've probably got a warm skin tone. 
And if you can't tell if they're blue or green, then you've probably got a neutral skin tone. But once you've figured out your skin tone, you can find out what colors work best for you. So once you've found out your skin tone, you can Google what colors work best for your skin tone and pick your favorite colors to wear. Now I think everyone does this next one, but sometimes when you think something doesn't suit you, it can be all in your head. Maybe you've only ever worn slimmer fits throughout your life, but you wanna give wider fits a go. So you try on some wider fitting trousers, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you think on the spot they don't suit you and you go back to your slimmer fits and you never try them again. We all take time to get used to change, so don't be put off by something right away. It might work for you, you just might need to get used to it. In my opinion, sometimes it's a good idea to work your way slowly up to a new style rather than trying to change it overnight. If you drastically change what you're used to seeing yourself in all at once, it can sometimes put us out of our comfort zone too quickly and put us off. I remember back in the old days when I used to wear skin tight jeans. And when I say skin tight, I mean skin tight. At the time, I thought I looked the part and anything I wore that wasn't stuck to my legs, I thought looked ridiculous on me. These days, I don't wear skinny jeans at all. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just not my style. But I look back at old pictures of myself in those skinny jeans and think to myself, I probably wouldn't leave the house if I dressed like that these days. But I'm the same person, but what I'm used to seeing myself in now is different to what I was used to seeing myself in back then. I bet there's plenty of photos of you in the past wearing something that you loved back then, and you look at it and think to yourself, why did I like wearing that so much? I would never wear that today. I can't put an exact date on when I stopped wearing really skinny jeans. It was just something that happened gradually over time. And it's the same for most of us. I bet it's the same for you. That item that you love to wear back in the day, I bet you can't put an exact date on when you stop wearing it, or even the time of year, or what year. Your style is always changing, it's always evolving, and a lot of the time you don't even notice it's happening. Most of us don't take our existing wardrobe, throw all of it out if we want to try a new style, and then replace it with this brand new style. Some people do that, but most of us don't. Most of us add in new pieces steadily over time and we get used to wearing the newer pieces and maybe we stop wearing some of the older pieces. And that's how our style changes without us realizing it. We're creatures of habit, so any drastic change is a massive shock to the system. So give yourself a bit of time to get used to these new styles and don't be put off them straight away. But these days, I'm switching between slimmer fits and baggier fits all the time. And because I do it so much, I'm used to both of them. So I don't think either look weird on me. But this wasn't always the case. It was something that I got more and more used to over time the more I did it. And lastly, you need to feel confident in your clothing because you can wear anything and pull off anything with enough confidence. But I hope this video has helped you out and given you some ideas that you can try out yourself. If you did enjoy it, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.